On September 21st, 1897, the New York Sun published what must surely be the most famous letter to the editor ever printed. Dear Editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia O'Hanlon, 115 West 95th Street. And of course the response was the immortal, yes Virginia, there is a Santa Claus letter, uh, which I actually really like, even though it's not really representative of my own point of view. There's something really whimsical and beautiful about that, yes Virginia, there is a Santa Claus letter. But I got to thinking, what if I had been the editor of uh, The Sun when I received this this letter from Virginia and I had been assigned to answer her. What if I somehow jumped into a time machine and traveled back from 2012 to 1897 and I were writing this response to young Virginia O'Hanlon? What would I have said? And I think I would have said something like this. Virginia, your little friends are right. They have discovered and accepted a truth which their parents sought to hide from them, and a truth which you now are also beginning to comprehend. No, Virginia, there isn't a Santa Claus. He's a myth, a fiction, a beautiful fiction, a wonderful fiction that speaks to our spirit of giving and the unique wonder of childhood, but a fiction nonetheless. You came to believe in him just as you may have come to believe in Cinderella or Alice or Tom Sawyer. And like those characters, if he was precious to you before, he will remain precious to you now, although not in quite the same way. We adults sometimes look on the process of children ridding themselves of their illusions with sadness. It's a sign that you're growing up, that one day, probably sooner than we realize, you won't be children anymore. But once we gain some distance from the sentiment of the thing, we realize that it's good and necessary and inevitable besides. You did something very important when you wrote your letter, Virginia. You asked a question to find out something you didn't know, and you insisted on being told the truth. That was a brave thing to do. There are many adults who lack the courage to ask for the truth and to face it when it comes, whatever it is. Since you asked to be told the truth, you might as well know the Easter Bunny is also a myth, and so is the Tooth Fairy, and in fact, so are all fairies and pixies and ghosts, and spirits, and monsters, and demons, and gods. Most of the stories in your Bible are just as imaginary as the ones in your books of fairy tales and fables. But take heart, Virginia. The magic of gods, and witches, and sorcerers is make-believe, but there is another magic, a better magic, for this magic is real. It's the magic of the world all around you. It's the caterpillar that pupates into a beautiful butterfly. It's the tree that makes its food from the sunlight. It's the thousands and thousands of stars that you can see when you look up at the sky on a clear night, each of them a sun shining down on you from trillions of miles away. It's your amazing brain inside your head that allows you to perceive and begin to understand this remarkable universe of which we are privileged to be a tiny part. By writing your letter, by asking your question, you have already begun to use one of the most important gifts you will ever be given, far more precious than any Christmas present. It's the gift of curiosity. Don't ever lose it. And don't ever let it be satisfied by anything less than the truth. Happy Christmas, Virginia.